How does Bristle differ from other tests? Here's a table of different salivary testing options, along with the bacterial and fungal species they detect, and the technology behind them. What you'll see here is that most tests only detect between 3 to 11 different pathogenic bacterial species, and they use a technology called qPCR. This is different from the Bristle test that uses a newer technology called Shaka metagenomic sequencing, which allows us to profile the community as a whole, so not just 11 different pathogenic species, but also the dozens of beneficial species that we know are also really important and impact oral health. So why is this community so important? Well, research has shown that the relationship between beneficial and pathogenic species is really important for driving health outcomes. Beneficial bacteria can prevent pathogenic species from causing disease. They can do this through a variety of ways, including adhering to surfaces, modulating inflammation, and even producing molecules that can promote health. Just for example, in the case of cavities, beneficial bacteria can produce ammonia, which can neutralize acid from pathogenic cavity-causing species. Similarly, in the case of gum disease, beneficial bacteria can compete with the pathogenic species to promote homeostasis rather than dysbiosis. So using the makeup of this community and an algorithm, we've created simple actionable scores that are easily accessible for your patients. So I'm showing three of the seven scores that we provide. And the first one is a beneficial score, which is a summary of the beneficial bacteria in your oral microbiome, a gum inflammation score that informs you about your future risk and how quickly gum disease can progress, and lastly, the tooth decay score, which can inform you about how quickly incipient lesions may progress to severe decay. We also provide detailed raw results for curious practitioners and their patients.